Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Ender's Island. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. And I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Alexio Divina, our divine reading, is from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 through 20. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, whose Son today ascended to the heavens as the apostles looked on, grant, we pray, that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth, and we with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our scripture passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Today's solemnity is about Jesus passing the baton. In the narratives given in the readings of today's Mass, Jesus, before he leaves his disciples, gives them their mission. And there are four aspects to this mission which Jesus gives in today's Gospel. One, there is the duty of the Christian community to evangelize, that is, to communicate the life in the vision that is contained in the Christian Testament and especially the Gospels. It must be stressed that this is not simply the responsibility of the clergy or of religious men and women. It's the duty of every single Christian arising from the very nature of being a disciple. As Jesus said, go out to all the whole world Two, the church has the task of healing. The Christian is not simply concerned with the soul. The whole person needs to experience the effects of salvation in spirit, in mind, in feelings, in body, and in the surrounding environment. Jesus himself spent a lot of time healing the sick. It was often linked with the healing of the soul and of the heart and the reconciliation of the sinner. Third, Jesus promises that the Spirit will give power to his disciples, to his followers. This is not to be political or economic power. It is the power shared by all that comes from a vibrant vision of what life should be and how we pass it on to others through love and compassion, forgiveness, etc. And finally, the Christian community does not do this alone. Jesus said, I am with you always to the end of the age. It is the promise. He is Emmanuel, God with us. Through his spirit, Jesus continues to work with and through his people. And so we firmly believe that he is to be found in every one of us. The last commands of Jesus are ours. Am I living up to this commitment? 
As usual, after our closing prayer, we read this scripture passage again. Contemplate its message and concentrate on a thought that the Holy Spirit places in your heart. This can be either through a verse or even just a small word from this scripture passage. Then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you, and more importantly, how you may spiritually grow in imitation of Jesus, fulfilling the will of our Heavenly Father. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer, and let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy. For even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and to hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in always. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon too so that you don't miss any of the new meditations that come to you each and every day. Help our channel too by sharing these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all and have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus, peace and blessings to all. Shalom, shalom.